is John Zerbe. I'm uh, the current commissioner in District 4, which uh, will have two people running against me. <laughs> Last time I put my name out there, I actually went to two years' worth of commission meetings prior to even deciding to run. I got involved in my city, and I got active, and I tried to learn the issues, not at the last minute, but for years. Now, I did move here about nine years ago in South Palm Bay on 217. It was a house that was like you've seen around here. No one lived there. It was a two-story house that meant for maybe one family above and one family below. But it was divided up in a number of pieces with stairs all on the outside, uh, steel stairs that you couldn't even really walk up. I moved here um, with my family. I have three kids. They aren't living with me right now. They're all uh, moved out, and um, one's still in uh, university level. So we're empty nesters. But uh, we didn't have a four-bedroom house where we could move. And I chose to take this house that was ramshackled and put in many hundred thousand dollars into the property because I believed in the city. At the time, I was building and working on Mr. Romano's Eco Center over here, which is across from the City Hall. Some of you know that building because I believe this city has an environmental side to it and concerns not only about trees and greenways, all right, but really about the way that the city can grow responsibly. I grew up in uh, Fort Lauderdale, so I did a lot of swimming and fishing and all that. I lived in the canals. I know what South Florida benefits are, and I didn't want to see this little area that um, still I can reminisce back of what was really fun to grow up here and raise a family. So I'm 62 years old and I have a lot of energy left, but my background is I'm an architect and I'm an environmental architect. I'm also a professor of architecture. I graduated from the University of Florida. I love the Florida Gators. I have a bachelor's and a master's. But I went through the community college system, and I teach at Indian River State College because I believe that we give all these kids a chance who can't really maybe go to the university first. So I have a true civic, civic drive in me that's rooted. I've taught for almost 30 years from different places, from University of Florida, FAU, Broward, and now up there. So I have a, a, a deep desire to help. Also, I've um, been on the uh, board for the Treasure Coast Palm Beach Regional Planning Council. That's across the seven counties. I was chairman for the U.S. Green Building Council for uh, Palm Beach and Treasure Coast. Uh, a member of the board for the U.S. Green Council for all of South Florida. I was chairman for the Children's Home Society, founded by Dave Thomas, the Wendy's proprietor. Uh, I was chairman of that for a number of years, and I was uh, president of the AIA, American Institute of Architects, in Broward County. Wherever I start and put my feet down, I try to get into a position where I can do the most good and help. I saw an opportunity here. When I went to rebuild my house, I ran into so much problems with getting permits. And it was ridiculous where I even had to redo windows in my house. So I went to the historic board. I needed to change every window out and put exactly the same size back. When I went to go get CO, one of our uh, inspectors at the time said, well, you can't open that window. You're missing an inch for people to get out of the bedrooms on the second floor. I said, well, I have carpenters that are twice the size of me getting in and out of there all day. And I went to the fire marshal at the time, Captain Carcillo, who said, let me come over there and take a look because the historical board told you one thing, and yet you have somebody here kind of running interference. Well, he wrote me a letter, but it didn't matter. I ended up having to take those windows back out and do it. That really upset me. At the same time, now, over a year later, I move into the house and I find out <clears throat> they're going to build a five-story condo across the street from me. Why? Because the zoning codes conflicted with the historic compatibility guidelines. I did three-dimensional modeling to help my neighborhood out. We fought that uh, condo. It never existed. It wasn't really making a friendly uh, <coughs> gesture with my neighbors who were selling the property, but that didn't happen because it's all about compatibility. That's why I've been helping. I helped rewrite our land development codes. And besides, whatever you want to hear him say, believe me, we do 
didn't uh, raise the heights, we lowered them. We lowered the heights. And so we have code compliance with teeth, and we also are um, dealing with um, traffic calming is coming up right now in ours. So we will be looking at reusing the CDBG funds and exactly what uh, was said as far as road diet to reduce it or is already in the works. But I'll be around to answer any other questions. And um, we're on track. If you think things are going wrong, you should let us know. We answer things all the time. Thank you. Thank you.